been busy diving lately. The water uh, is not as good as it was, unfortunately. That blue water's kind of gone, kind of moved out. And now we've got a little bit of greener, a little bit of dirtier water. Still diveable, can still see enough. Um, but it's definitely a little bit spookier uh, with them sharks all around, especially after that dolphin got attacked recently. Managed to get a fair few fish the other day, which was awesome. And we'll be doing a few cook-ups coming up and we'll be keeping you guys along for the ride on that one. We had a little visitor, a little turtle coming through, which is always a pleasure to see. And we even had a couple little sharks hanging around as well. Did lose a little saw tail to one of those, unfortunately. But um, I think I got off a little lighter than my mate who lost a good sized goat fish, unfortunately. I did end up with a good few chomps on one of my goat fish, but once I felt those tugs on my line, I pulled him in and just charged that guy down. And then he shot off pretty quick, which was lucky. I will play some of those clips for you now. beach just around the corner from where we dive actually there was a dolphin that washed up and it was swimming around this bay for a while I got a few videos of that just doing real slow lazy loops didn't look well didn't look healthy and from where I was sitting it did look like had a good chunk of its tail in pieces and had a few decent bite marks on its body eventually the dolphin did beach itself it's my understanding that a lot of dolphins and whales and things like that, they do come into these calmer bays to die, unfortunately. Um, they tend to like to beach themselves and distance themselves from the pack. But the story goes that 
there was two, maybe three bull sharks, probably up to about two to three meters. Me and my mates found this a bit weird though, as far as we're aware, bull sharks of that kind of size especially, um, don't usually target big mammals, big animals like this dolphin, which they estimated to be about 200 kilos. And what they're now saying is that this dolphin has been previously injured potentially by fishing equipment. Now, I don't know if this would be like commercial fishing equipment that they're talking about, but I can't imagine a fisherman's line, a thin mono line, is gonna injure a dolphin that significantly. What we do have on our beaches still in Sydney though are shark nets. And these nets, they're in these small little pockets, these little sections, and animals can swim around them, under them, over them. They're not really covering that much of an area but unfortunately they do catch heaps of animals. My understanding was last year, they actually trapped about 370 or so animals. So I have no interest in getting particularly political about this, but this is direct from the Sydney Morning Herald. More than 200 threatened or protected animals were caught in shark nets over the last 12 months. Of 376 total animals caught, only 51 were even shark species, and 203 of them were threatened or protected. 156 of these animals ended up dying. Doesn't quite make sense why we have them, why we still use them. Aside from some level of reassurance for people, I guess, to make them feel a little bit better, like something's being done, like they're being protected from jaws or whatever, they don't seem to do a whole lot other than injure wildlife. So no one has said specifically that this is what has happened, but it is definitely something me and my mates have been speculating that potentially this dolphin has been caught up in these shark nets that we have pretty close to where this dolphin actually washed up. So maybe that's what happened. The bull sharks have come in, tried to get an easy feed, and then the dolphin has got out. And then being too injured, it swam into the bay, or a calm little protected bay just to die and everything else. But we'll see what they have to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, that's a little taster for the next few weeks. We're gonna be doing plenty of cook-ups with all of these fish. And I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride. Hopefully you come up with some cool recipes, try some new stuff out, and um, see what else the ocean has to offer, eh? So if you did enjoy, uh, I recommend subscribing, um, leaving a like as well, comment, anything like that helps. And hang around, because we'll be doing plenty of cook-ups coming up.